Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. Today's video will be about cleaning rods, patches, bore guides and bore snakes and uh, just showing you the uh, difference in uh, brands and um, what uh, I use and uh, what's included with the uh, rods when you buy them. And first off I got my uh, taker out to show you the uh, lengths in the uh, rods. I have this ball guide which is specifically for takers. It's a possum hollow from HSS. And uh, when I go to clean my rifle I normally use a ball guide and placing it in the barrel and uh, the next step is to get the uh, right rod that you need I bought the uh, Dewey rods uh, this one's a 30 cow these are around about $70 and uh, you get these are 44 inch stainless steel little yellow cap here you take the yellow cap off which has the threading it's a 5 8 thread and they normally come with the patch holder these are all bronze I'm just screwing that in the end I got three different patches for each rod. I have the Protectical 17 to 22 rim fire, and I have a 22 center fire to 6.5 mil or to 7 270 cal and big sizes from 7 mil to 38 cal or 338 I use uh, this one the 1 and 3 fourths for my 30 cal so when we start off with the uh, 30 cal only we Get a patch, thread it through, and uh, normally you would uh, put some solvent on the end of it. But when it's fired, placing it through the ball, holding the handle at the back, it spins with the right wing, and as you can see, the uh, it's gone out the front. Should only go in a little bit. As you can see, the, the length in the rod is important because if it's too short, and uh, you can push it forward if you want, but the butt stocks normally are different and won't go further. If it's too short and it won't stick out the end properly. So, normally it's all the way through now, just as the handle gets to the butt of the stock. And pulling it out and then you would change that after a few passes through or reapplying solvents so what else is next is the choices of a bronze brush or nylon brushes if you're using the sweets you'd want to be using the nylon brushes so then it doesn't start eating the bronze brush up and giving you false readings and uh, this is what uh, gets the uh, fouling out it's typically no difference between nylon or 
bronze, they'll still get the fouling out. But the uh, bronze one, I reckon, just because it's more abrasive, I reckon, that it works. And normally you get this and you put it in five times. coming out and slowly pulling this. We'll do that five times. Up and back is ten, what they recommend normally. And then you'll take the next attachment, which would be the jag, which is what you put the patch on. To dry the ball, so using the same patch, it's got the spike. Put the patch somewhere in the middle, push forward, little spike, and those little ribs on the side are the diameter of the, the ball. And when you see it, it will go through like that. And uh, Normally if you don't have that, you can still use this, but it doesn't get all the uh, sides off, and uh, so the pat jag ones are better to use than the uh, patch holders. Placing that in, now it's hard, scraping the sides. Pulling each patch off. As you can see, my bore is dirty. I haven't uh, cleaned it yet. So, and normally, what you do is keep doing it until it's dry. And that's the uh, three attachments um, you can use for 30 cal. There is also a mop, but I don't use it. They look like this. It's just all soft. It's basically the same thing as that jag. It gets rid of dowling or oil that's been in there. So it's that. And uh, we'll move on now to 2-3. This is a 22 caliber dowie. It's the same with the same steel 44 inch. This one's got a black tip to say that it's a different size. Got the same 5 8 thread. I'm looking at uh, getting a 2-3 rifle. And had purchased this before I got the rut. And it also comes with the Dowie patch. You can use other different brands with the thread as long as they're the correct one. For Christmas, I actually got this 22 Jag as a present. It's about $9. It's a pro tactical one, not a Dowie one. So it's a different brand. And that normally just screws on. As you can see, it's a different brand and it fits. This you can actually put through the uh, 30 cal as well, because some uh, diameters you can use for two different calibers, as this is smaller than 30 cal, it would easily go in the bore. If you don't have anything else, it will be easier to get loose, as you can see. But if you don't have anything else, it would uh, be used.
as you can see this is the same thread but it is the 30 cal 30 cal end with the 22 caliber rod still go through no problems as you can see so if I were to say you could use 22 cal for 30 cal or any other one above I reckon that it could work if you don't want to buy two of these they're about 70 bucks each so still $140 depending on your budget you might want to get one instead of two or one for each caliber so the advantage of, of that Different brands, the clean ball. These are the ones with the uh, black handle. These are black. I'm not sure what coat these are. They're not very long. This is a 177. And in the 177 clean ball kits that you get, you get all three brushes. This is 177 Jag. It's a 177 mop and a nylon brush. And these operate in the same way, except it's really small. So these are for air rifles. And um, the patches that you'll use for this are the ones I've shown you the Pro Shop 0.17, the 22 Rimfire. And they operate in the same manner. All you do is this one doesn't have a point, so you normally put the patch over and then put it down the ball. So that's how that works. I also have a 22 clean ball, 17. This is a 12 gauge clean ball, as you can see, the, it's a bigger diameter. Stand still with this little adapter because the uh, attachments are so big, it needs an adapter for different size threads. So this wouldn't fit in the 30 cal as it's a really big diamond for shotgun. This is a 12 gauge and still it's a shorter length. The barrels are 30 inch and uh, this basically um, will go in. This barrel length is 26 inches so 30 inches is about correct. These attachments are bigger. As you can see, this is the bronze brush for the 12 gauge. As you can see, it's a bigger thread. And that will go down the bores, scraping all the fouling off the side and the uh, plastic wads. And also because it's a bit harder for patches to go down, this is the uh, patch holder, but I find that uh, that it's really too, the patches are too small because the 12 gauge patches are really big. So they won't touch the sides or anything really, so that's why I need to put some spray down it. Some hot water. You can see there, this one's plastic, it's not made of metal like the other ones. So that's why they give you this mop here, which is a lot easier, as it's 
bigger diameter than the bore. And this will go down the bore and get all the black carbon off. And I usually put a patch over the top. You get the big patch, put it over like that and then push it through. And you'll see the uh, circle there with the patch and all the black bits so you know that it's getting all the sides off. I'll move on to, uh, I've got some bore snakes as well. If you don't use a rod in the uh, field or if you're at the range and you're just not bothered trying to uh, clean it with the rod. We have this. You can get different ones. I also have bore snakes for every calibre. 22, 357 Magnum, which is the 9mm one. And all it is, is some cut and rope with a brass on the end of it and a rope with a weight on the end with the calibre stamped on it. And this is actually pretty tricky with the teacup. You might be able to put, get in the bore guide if you have one. Normally I would take this out and either put it through that way or through the whole action itself. What you could do is try and find the hole. Get your fingers jammed in there. Make sure it doesn't come out. Tilt the rifle up so the weight of the thing we've got in, but uh, because my fingers are not long enough, it's not going in. Normally you only put two passes maybe for it. It'd be better if the weight was longer. Ah, it's in. What that does, the weight goes through. Put that in the end. See, it's down at the end here. Making sure this is straight as you pull out. This will go down the wall, pull it, and it will be clean. And all the residue will go on this here, which is machine washable, and you can put it in the washing machine to uh, clean it. These are normally, I buy these off of eBay, they're normally around $10 each, free postage. So normally they're $30 in store, so if you're saving money, you want to go to eBay. And so that's just a bit about uh, the uh, different uh, clean ones you can get with the attachments. Um, I snapped my uh, clean ball ones. Um, these ones are actually screwed together with different lengths. So when you get them they're screwed on. So when you want to put them together and that's where the actual weak link is in the clean bores. You can see they're screwed together. Sometimes if you don't have a proper bench and you're trying to force it in the bore and it's really tight and your hand moves. So if you're pushing it and it's on an angle or you can't quite get it over where you want it and get stuck on the end here and you're trying to force it. When you're forcing it then it will bend out where the weakest link is. And I've snapped my 22 cow one and um, so if you get a one piece solid rod then it's going to be less room for when it bends 
and it won't snap clean off. Well, it shouldn't. So that's the positives of a single ones that are together. These ones are normally about $40. The clean ball ones with all the kit and the uh, silicon white and uh, comes in that separated. These little patches also off of eBay were around, this one was $25 to $35 free shipping. This is a thousand count, you can't normally get those here. Got this one from my local shop that I go to. 0.17s to 22 and around count too and I was lucky to get these 22 center fire to 270 cow from my local gun shop as well they're normally 300 for the the one and one eight squares it's no different to round or square patches um, these were about $16 this one's about $11 and Buy in bulk, this will save some money and they'll last you a long while. And you can always use these little patches to get to the hard bridge places inside the actions and using those uh, cotton buds as well. So you can put a patch over a cotton bud and try and wipe inside the action where you can't get in between this area and up the top here. Sometimes I get a patch and put it on my finger and run it down the inside of the action. I haven't taken the stock off this yet as it's already had the trigger drop done so there wasn't anything else need to get in there in, in clean wise. Um, another video um, there'll be an upgrade of the recall lug from HSS I think um, as it's a stronger um, heavier heavier lug um, also, I'm looking at uh, putting a HWS uh, muzzle brake um, as well, the clamp on ones to reduce recall. Um, and uh, there'll be the uh, next videos I will be doing in the future. Um, that was uh, yeah, a bit about the uh, clean rods, different brands, different attachments that you can use. Um, patches and bore snakes and a bore guide. Um, so they're all the things you need to uh, clean your rifle. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe.